Hello fellas, hope you're all fine, happy. Uh, today in this video we are simulating a complete smart house in uh, Cisco Packet Tracer and we are using all the IoT components to design this smart house. I already imported a picture here, this is just a, the layout of a house, you can import from here, just select the picture as the background. As you can see here it is. And uh, the first thing you need is a home gateway, you need a router, something that all the devices, all the IoT components should be connected to that. Uh, so in order to do that, I just click on this one. And here it is, home gateway. I don't change the name, that's fine, home gateway by default. The SSID for this one is also home gateway. So when we are adding other components, then automatically home gateway will be identified and we don't need to set the password for now just we are simulating okay uh, the second one is smartphone a smartphone to control everything here it is and now I connect my device to this uh, home gateway The SSID is home gateway. Home gateway. It's connected. Now let, let me check the IP address for this one. This is the IP address. Okay, now I just try to access our home gateway, 192.168.25.1. The username and password by default, the right name. You can see here it is, and uh, we logged into our home gateway, but at the moment there is no device connected to this one. And now let's go and add our components. I don't close this window, it should be here. Uh, okay, I go to master bedroom and I, I add some devices there. I click on the home and there are a lot of IoT devices here. Uh, these components are built in IoT components, IoT devices. We don't need to connect them to SBC boards or to uh, microcontrollers. Okay, so let me for now let me add a fan here give the name fan one okay and now let's connect this fan to this home gateway just click on it you can read this uh, descriptions for example the features you can on you can off the, uh, the speed can be high the speed can be low and they are really useful just you can read them I go to configuration and I connect this into home gateway IoT server and the thing is that at the moment it's not uh, wireless the interface uh, just I go I click add once and I click input and output configuration and the network adapter should be wireless and now if I refresh this one Oh, you can see we have uh, one fan here added to this uh, home gateway. You, now it is off. If I click low, you can see it's on. High, it will be fast. So from your phone, you can uh, you can control this one. Uh, what else? For this one, I can add a window, a smart window. I name it window one. Same case with this one, just click on it, uh, go to configuration, connect this one to home gateway, advance, the adapter should be wireless, and now it will be connected to this one as well. Now you can see we have two components here. The window you can close and open it. Now this is something that you are controlling from your phone, 
you can make it full automatic. For example, here you can add a, you can add a wind detector. Here it is. Just in case, for example, when you're at home, so you can control, you can close and you can open it. But uh, just in case, for example, you're outside and uh, there is a heavy rain and also a storm and uh, wind. So this wind detector will detect the wind and automatically will close or open the, uh, the window based on that. So I just type, uh, I give a name, wind detector. And this one, I also connect this one to home gateway. You can see the sizes. The sizes here, it looks so big, but in the real, very small. Configuration, connect it to home gateway, add ones, input and output interface, that uh, network adapter should be wireless. And here it is. You can see now we have three components here. The wind detector. Now there's no wind here. Okay, so we can use conditions here to what? Uh, to control this window, for example. I click add conditions. And from here we can add condition. We can give the name of this condition, let's say close window. Close window one. For example, we say when detector, when wind is true it means when there is wind outside uh, automatically window one should be true it means it should be closed okay you can add as many conditions as you want for the closing for the opening okay so let's add more components here uh, here i add a door for example this is a smart door iot door Let's give a name door one. And let's connect this one to our router. Config, connect room gateway, add once. The adapter should be wireless. Now you can see we have four components here. Door one is also added. When you click, you can now this is open and you can lock or unlock. Now lock and lock, lock and lock. Uh, you can control it from your phone, but we want to make it more automatic. So we can add a motion sensor here. The motion sensor is not this big in the real life. Okay, so motion sensor one. Let me put the door here and the motion sensor here. So this motion sensor will detect the motion and based on that uh, automatically the door will be unlocked. I click on this and I connect this one to my home gateway. Wireless. So when I click the interface wireless and it will, uh, it just automatically will be connected to our home gateway. Why? Because uh, if we check here, configuration, uh, config, wireless, you can see by default the SSID has been set home gateway. So we didn't change the SSID for the SSID for this uh, home gateway, and we didn't give any password, any protection, so it will just directly connect to that one. This is just for the tutorial purpose. Uh, okay, and you can see now we have more components here. One motion sensor. Now we add another condition. Condition one. Okay. And you're just saying for unlock, unlock door one. And the condition is if motion sensor one is true, it means if there is a motion, then door one should be lock unlocked. And okay. So now you can see uh, there's no motion and the door is just unlocked. This is locked. When there is motion, you can see it is unlocked now. And now after a few seconds, there's no motion, but still this is uh, unlocked. We can add another condition to lock the door. 
So or you can edit this one. Let me add. Uh, this time we are just saying uh, lock door one. And when the motion sensor on and there's no motion, then door one not window door one lock it should be lock okay so now when there is a uh, motion it is unlock when there's no motion after a few seconds just see what happened and now it is locked again unlock unlock after a few seconds so you can add as many conditions as you need based on your needs. Just you can add conditions and you can, uh, even you can add certain codes for the programming here. Okay, let's add more components. For example, this is the living and dining room. I can add an AC here. AC one. Also, I can add a furnace here. AC one and furnace, furnace one. And let's connect this to our router, config, home gateway. The network adapter should be wireless. Same case with this one. And both of them are connected to our home gateway. Here we have new, new components. And you can control them. For example, uh, the furnace is now off. You can on it from here. You can see now it is on. Same case with the temperature. With the AC, now it is off and you can on it from your phone and off it back. Uh, we can make it uh, full, auto full automatic by adding, uh, let's say, thermostat here. Let's give a name, thermostat, term is fine. And let's connect this one. Okay, this one is also connected. Uh, now we just go to here. Here it is, we have thermostat. Now we can add more conditions here. I click on condition. Now the temperature is 24 degree. So I add a condition and I'm just saying that the on AC. And I'm just saying the thermostat, if the temperature is uh, higher than 20. Now this is 20 degree, 23 degree. And I'm just saying if the temperature is higher than 20 degrees, then what? Then uh, the air condition, AC1, should be on. Now you can see this is off and true. I just press OK. And now it is on. Why? Because we just specified if the temperature is higher than 20 degrees, then it will be uh, on. So you can add another, temp another condition that if that is uh, lower than uh, 20 degrees, then it should be off. And now I add another condition for this one, for furnace, in case the temperature is low and it should be on. Now it is, you can see it is just uh, going down. I add another condition for this one. This time on furnace, on furnace one. And if the temperature is uh, equal or lower equal or lower than 20 degrees then what then the furnace should be 
on. You can see now it is off and now it is 19 degrees. We specified that if that is lower than 20 degrees, it should be on. Now I press OK and see just what happened. Here it is. Why? Because the temperature is lower than 20 degrees, so automatically it's just switched on. And you can add another condition. The video is getting longer, just I'm doing fast. You can add another condition to switch it off the same way. Mm, okay, so let's add some more components. Uh, let's say, for example, here you have a garden and you, need, you can add sprinklers for the, for the irrigation. And the, the color should be here it is and this one fill just an example you have a, a garden here and you can get uh, you can add sprinklers here sprinkler one and let's connect this one to our home gateway and this is connected to our home gateway and now you can control it from your phone Whenever you think that an irrigation is needed, just you can switch on this sprinkler and automatically this sprinkler will be on and the garden will be irrigated. And you can make it full, uh, full automatic by adding, uh, let, let me see what I have here. Uh, this is a humature, humature monitor, which is just showing the humature, the humidity, and uh, the temperature all together. Humature one, and let's connect this one to our home gateway. That is connected and uh, we have here temperature okay we can add the condition here now it is 60 and uh, we just add a condition what on uh, sprinkler okay we give the name on sprinkler if what if the humature one is higher than what now this is 60 degrees you just say higher than 55 then uh, the sprinkler one status should be true now you can see this is off and this uh, humature is uh, and this is 60 degree and I said uh, if that is higher than 55 then it should be on let me see I press ok now it is on why because based on our condition this is higher than 55 degree and automatically it will be on and you can control it from your phone of course to on and off and also you can add another condition to make it to uh, switch it off if that is lower than 55 degrees it should be off okay what else uh, for example this is the main gate and we can add uh, what uh, a webcam here webcam one and connect this one to your home gateway connect it okay so from here you can control to record or not to record now the webcam is on and it's recording 
uh, we can make it full uh, automatic just by uh, adding a motion sensor here whenever there is motion the webcam should automatically record and when there is no motion and nothing then no need to record and no need to uh, use a lot of storage so motion sensor 2 And you can see we have motion sensor and webcam here. Uh, we can add another condition. Let's say record recording. If the motion sensor two on true, then webcam one should be on and recording. Okay. Now there's no motion and this one is off in case there's motion this one is also on and now you can add another condition to stop recording uh, okay what else is left oh you can add a you can add a light here in the bedroom there's a light one And here we have the light you can off you can dim and you can on mm, okay what else we can do ops uh, yeah in the kitchen we can add um, smoke detector in case there is a smoke and something is on fire just let's give a name smoke detector one and we can add a siren an alarm the alarm can be in the living room or here siren one and let's connect both of them to our home gateway And we have a smoke detector. Okay. So now there's no smoke. And we have seven. And this is the alarm. You can control it from the phone, your phone. But uh, let's make it uh, full automatic. For example, if there is smoke in, this, uh, in the kitchen, then the alarm should be on automatically. Okay, let's add one condition. Add, let's say alarm one. If the smoke detector detects the smoke, Let's say if the level of smoke is uh, higher than 0 .0, 0 0.1, for example, then the alarm, siren 1, should be on and true, okay? Mm -hmm. So now there's no smoke here, so it is off. Uh, 
let me see here 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 it is a car and by this car I just produce some smoke here okay I click I press alt and click on this one so now let's see the la now the level of smoke is increasing when it reached to 0 0.1 let me show you here the level of smoke here now this is uh, 0 0.09 when the level of smoke reaches to 0 0.1 or higher, then it will be on. Now the level of smoke is not increasing. I just go to condition, I edit that condition, the last one. This one is smoke detector. And the level should be 0 0.0.0.2 0 0 .0 for example. Now you can see I press OK it will be on. Why? Because of uh, ah, because uh, because the uh, smoke level is higher. Here it is. We specified that the level of smoke is uh, if the level of smoke is the density of the smoke is higher than 0 0.02, then the alarm should be on. Now it is on. So now the alarm is on, but uh, you can add a you can add another condition to switch it off, or you can just switch it off by your phone. You can click here, and you just you can switch it off. Okay, I'm just showing you the method. You can uh, design it based on your own needs. Mm, okay, what else you can do here? Ah. We can have a garage here, we can have a car and we can have a gate here, a garage gate. Garage gate one. Say car. Let's connect this one to Okay, so it is connected and you can you can close and open it from your phone or maybe you can add a sensor or maybe you can attach a smoke sensor to your car so whenever your car is closed to your home so of course uh, automatically it will be connected to your home gateway and that uh, home gateway and we can specify a condition when the smoke level is uh, at a specific level then the gate should be open so whenever your uh, car is getting closer to the gate and this smoke detector will automatically will be connected to your home gateway and the gate will be open so just the smoke detector smoke detector give a name two and you can attach this one right to your car and connect this one to your home gateway Okay, now you can see the level of smoke is uh, the smoke detector 2. Now there's no smoke, the level of smoke is 0. Okay, now let's set the condition for this, uh, this one. Conditions, add new condition. Let's say open garage get. If the smoke detector two, let's say alarm or level higher than uh, zero point zero one, then it should be the garage should be open on and true. 
Okay. Now let's try. Now it is on. And you are just leaving and this uh, smoke detector is attached to your car. And uh, you can add another one to close. Close gate, garage gate. If the smoke detector two level is uh, lower than zero point zero one then should be false okay now just let me turn off yeah you can see when just the, when the engine is on there is smoke and this uh, is uh, smoke detector is directly connected to your car okay so this is what we did and yeah you can just play and you can design your own smart home there are a lot of components you can simulate here and just you can uh, exactly follow these steps in the real world and there are a lot of components here for example what is this a street lamp a street lamp here you can add a street, a street, uh, this kind of lamps around your garden and you can just control it from your phone so and this is how you design a smart house and you are using these iot components and these are built in iot components in case you need some specific uh, a smart device and uh, there is also possibility just you can uh, use one of these boards or maybe microcontroller or SVC single board computer and you can just add one of them and there are certain uh, sensors and certain actuators and output components just you can use them and you can connect this one to the, uh, one of these boards and just after connection this one IoT custom cable uh, temperature sensor temperature sensor you can connect to digital port or analog port D0 and then you can go and you can program it and you can use them just subscribe to my channel and stay tuned uh, sometimes I'm just making this kind of videos and I'm sure uh, it will be helpful useful and also something interesting uh, you can see everything is connected to your phone and you can connect them you can control them you can switch them off you can switch them on and uh, most of these things are just even no need to control by phone they are fully automatic and uh, this is a smart house so uh, in the near future everything will be smart and it's better to know this stuff and uh, thank you very much have a good day Audio.